Great day, class. The end of burning oil is near. Soon I will be able to remove my teacher's garb and put on my engineer cap to help some salmon get home and to clean up some scorched earth. Before we play with the Bagawin, a homework check and a check to see how close the class is paying attention. Did anyone notice the final energy decay of the toy gyroscope and see some resonant rocking and some resonant up and down? The hidden homework was to learn where impulse power comes from. It could be what starts this rockin' and rollin'. The Cinco Petra homework assignment was to destroy one kilowatt motor energy using gyroscopic forces to find on the internet before the most tasty salmon are extinct. One source is Professor Walter Lewin at MIT, here teaching gyroscopic force. In the background, you might notice he started with an explanation of angular momentum of a ball rolling downhill and leading to an enigmatic equation certainly to be found on his test. At this point, his students would have predictable reactions. Ensign Boone watched the YouTube video to pass time on a trip in the future. He posed the question to the captain. Spock responded. Professor Lewin next showed a spinning bicycle wheel with an overhanging weight and then the classical force diagrams. My students pondered these questions. I hope. The answers might lead my students to suspect Professor Cinco Petros might be just another two-headed Bagawin. Students could laugh, asserting gyroscopic energy destruction was impossible, based on... These just might be the ways already invented. So let us invent impulse power using what we have learned. One of my students seems to be paying close attention and ready to challenge anything I say. We will start with the basic momentum equations. Impulse and momentum are well known, but used in few venues other than rocket or jet propulsion. In those venues, impulse is the part obeying Newton's equal and opposite law. Forces in time for the vessel and the reactants is exactly the same, and their product is impulse. Partial reactions of torque are the attribute making impulse power possible. Impulse power engines of Star Trek and Syncopetra designs take advantage of the ability to interdependently change radius and angular momentum forces. Propulsion comes from cyclically transforming regular and angular momentum. One big difference between Star Trek and Syncopetra designs is, with shields, even shuttlecraft can travel at warp. 0.25. Cinco Petra vehicles are not expected to do better than Mach 0.95. For both designs, 50% transformation efficiency is the best. She is still paying attention, so I will clarify. 50% efficiency is the best Cinco Petra can achieve with machines on Earth. In space, there is something called the gravity slingshot effect, where that limitation can be avoided. The principle is simple, when momentum is understood. Gravitational force is the same at distances, whether approaching, or pulling away, or at any speed. Very simple, momentum change is different, because at lower velocity, the force is applied for a longer time. More momentum is added approaching, then is lost departing. It's as simple as that. Scientists can spend billions of taxpayers' dollars arguing the efficiency and whether the energy is free. NASA uses the effect because it is the only way to get some places they want to go using rockets and what taxpayers can afford. Affordable rockets cannot carry enough fuel made from oil to get past Mars. With my understanding of momentum, impulse, and transformation reactions, I am not absolutely sure what energy really is, 
other than a way to set the price at the pumps. And of course, the energy concept also justifies war so that the governments with the best weapons get more than their fair share of limited resources. Momentum, impulse, and transformation reactions can cheaply solve this problem too. Soldiers returning from war and salmon have similar simple goals, thwarted by similar promises unkept. We digress. To finish the homework assignment, we need a ball and a ramp and a transformation reaction with time dependency. Pendulum frequency works, albeit with serious limitations. Then we need excitation at near pendulum frequency. We have three choices. Momentum is symmetrical without rectification, so rectification is our only real choice. To determine impulse and momentum, a time equation based on that choice is needed. More limitations. All of our technology is based on a very simple concept. This example, gravitational torque augmenting or opposing motor torque. Augmenting would be free energy. Opposing could have no value other than to complete this homework assignment. The ball would move like this. More inertia than the ball is needed. Some teeth could be added to stop all sliding friction. And the homework answer.